Hello and welcome back to a new episode of Agrarian Skies. Now, what have I got to show you since last time? I can't even remember what happened last episode. But, we've still got the area over there. I've made a new area. Oh yeah, the storage system is something... Well, it's not really a system. I know I need to use, like, um, that mod. to storage. What's that mod called? It's this mod. Applied Energistics. Yes, I need to use that for storage. But for now, we just got this. I got some... The reason why I'm using single chest is so I can use, like, chest upgrades. I've upgraded some of them, but I don't have hardly any iron. So, we just got, you know, just various amounts of stuff here. We've got some ingots in here. Basically, I don't know why it's giving me these ingots now, the Tinker's ingots, instead of the forestry ones. Who knows? But we are now... Well, I guess it gives me Tinker's ingots because it's Tinker's construct, but... I don't know, I kind of like the forestry ingots. Because, I don't know, I don't know why. So yeah, convert quite a lot of the liquid metal back into ingots. We still have a couple of things, like we've got pl the platinum, we've got nickel, and we have aluminium, which I haven't done yet. Also, we ha had a visit from Enderman, I managed to kill it with my trusty bow. This bow is actually pretty sweet. Got a lot of things with it. So I've moved the furnaces over there, we've got a crafting bench there. There's no random chests there now. We also moves most of the chests out of here. This one still has all this stuff because I haven't moved that yet. In fact, we've got some stuff being made here. We've got in some more broken ores. Haven't got any more diamonds and emeralds yet. Anyway, today I hopefully, hopefully we can make something. Hopefully we've got some iron. Because I need iron to make some stuff. Did I get any more iron? I have... Five iron. That's not good. We're gonna need copper. We're gonna need iron. We're gonna need glass. We're gonna need redstone. Glass should be in. Is it? Did I put it with the ores? No, I didn't. Did I put it with the, this? I did. Okay. So we need that. We need. Basically, I'm making a pulverizer. <laughs> okay. We're gonna need some flint. We need redstone, wood, and cobble for the piston. Let's get some flint. Let's get some redstone, uh, wood. We've got some cobble, wood, 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 wood. Just some planks. All right, I'm um, hopefully we can make everything. So first things first. Let's make one of these. Second things second. Let's make one of these. So we got that and that. Got these. Piston! Yeah. Now can we make a pulverizer? Is that machine over there a pulverizer? Hold on. It is, isn't it? Oh, we've got two pulverizers. Yeah. Oops. Right. Now we need to make some cables. I did need to do something in the pulverizer. Was it actual wood I needed to put in there or was it planks? I think it's actual wood. So there's like these wood splint things that I need to make. And let's just put, you know, 22 would do. Put 22 in. I just made a second pulverizer, people. Like a knob. Like an absolute knob. I oh, need some charcoal now to power this beast. Why did I make a second pulverizer? There was a reason for it. I can't remember though. That's bad. Not remembering. We do need to do all this. Uh, yeah, there was a reason for a second pulverizer, but I can't remember it offhand. At least I think there was a reason. Let's put a couple charcoal in and. Basically, I wanted to make paper. So let's go to paper. And have a look. See, sugar canes. We haven't managed to get any sugar cane seeds. What is that? Sure, sounds good to me. Uh, also, you can make letters into paper, but, I but to make letters, you need paper anyway. So, wood chips is any wood, and you get some wood chips. And we get quite a lot of them, so we're going to make some paper. We're going to make the book binder for our quest because I just want to do 100% this quest. Open this book binder. Well, I mean, we get a quarter of a heart out of it and we can 
condense our books into one place. So basically the book binder recipe binder is string and paper. So in fact we probably can make it straight away here. Let's make some paper. And there is a way to get the seeds I need. I think I need to like either sift some dirt or something like that. But I'm not gonna do that. Alright. Paper! Yeah, now we need some string. So the mob drops, even though most of them come from trees. I can still class it as mob drops. And book binder. So now we can complete this request, claim the reward. And the heart should be in there. Yeah. Let's get all our books and binder them up, hopefully. Book binder. Yeah. Save some room. So we've done that one. We've got that one out of the way. The other one we need to get out of the way is also this. We need to make a creepy doll. So to make a creepy doll. Creep. E. Doll. So you need to make a doll. Precious doll. So we're going to use an emerald and some porcelain clay. And to make porcelain clay, we need some normal clay. And we need some bone mill so that... I believe I do have some actual normal clay. So we've got two. We need three more. I believe bone mill should be in here. Three more of that. We also need an emerald. So I'm not going to use a diamond. So let's mix these up. And let's get ourselves a porcelain doll. Oh, wrong one. One of these. Now, to make a creepy doll, we need two lapis, four ink sacks. Ah, ink sacks, yes. Is there another way to make ink sacks? Uh, fish products. Yeah, of course, squid's going to give me it. Hmm. Maybe I need a deeper pool of water to make squid spawn somewhere. Because they don't spawn in my, like, random pool there. So basically, we can make some squid squid eggs. Squid. And for the eggs, you need... Yeah, we need eggs and loads and loads and loads of fishing rods. So... Maybe I'll do that between episodes. But the major part of today is going to be the moving power task. Now, we need to make leadstone energy. So let's have a look what we need for this. Probably going to need lead and redstone this so you need a lot of redstone, we need some glass, we need some lead give me some lead, got some glass and we've got some redstone, so we should be able to make it straight away let's do that, let's make you know three lots to do now for the next we need some invar I'm pretty sure and what do we need to do to if we manual submit one I made a lead energy conduit. Hey. Manual submit. There we go. Got rid of one of them. So we need hardened. Uh, hard. And. Which is basically redstone, leadstone, and invar. So let's do that. Let's make one of these straight away. This recipe. Make three of them. Give that back. Basically, this carries more power and the ATRF, but 400 with that. Now, the final final energy conduit, where we do have to make the red net one. Actually, what do I need for the red net? Red net. This is the energy conduits for... Uh, what's it called? Mine factory reloaded. So, just need electrum. Red net, electrum... So we need to make red net cables first, we need to make plastic sheets. To make plastic sheets, we need raw plastic, which is rubber bars in a furnace. So, I'm going to take all these rubber bars. I'm just going to get some wood out of there. Let's just... Yeah, let's just use our planks. People always say, use your planks. So I'm going to use my planks. Hopefully this will be enough to do the whole lot. And we'll get a bunch of plastic. Then we can make it into plastic sheets. Then we can make them into red net energy cables. And then we can do the rest. But for now, let's manual submit. 
And look at the redstone NG conduits. Cond you it. So this one. Now this one is just uh, an NG conduit, which is electrum and hardened glass. Hardened glass is pulverized obsidian and pulverized lead into hardened glass. So we need to get obsidian of the pulverized variety. Now I don't have a pool to put my uh, lava in. I think I can just pull it into the pool here. Maybe that's not a good idea though. Maybe I'll make another little pool with some running water in. So it's got a bucket. Let's get our clay blocks again. Uh, let's use these light blue ones. Light blue! Who who ever thought this light blue is purple? Light blue. Light blue is like that. Maybe. In the sky. Anyway. I'm making this again. So do that. It's got to be free. Want some running water there, and then we'll put, put, put lava in the end. It's going to give us obsidian. And then we're going to mine it and pulverize it into that little dust, I believe. Then we need to, need to make that induction smelter to make the hardened glass. So let's see what kind of stuff we can get if we have we used all our power really. Oh man, give me them wood chip. Only one more wood chip? Really? Okay. Pulverize the obsidian. I'm in a bit of extra power. Come on. One more. Four pulverized obsidian from one block of obsidian. Okay. Seems good to me. Good ratio. So I need some more. Let's put it. I think we needed eight. Uh, the goal is to make hardened glass. Anyway. And I think that electrum stuff is made from silver and gold, if I remember rightly. Ah, oh, that gravel is still being done. Have we got any gold? We don't get any ing I mean, ingots. I need emeralds and thingy. Alright, here goes another one. So we're going to get some more obsidian. Now we need to make, with the pulver obsidian, make an obsidian rod. Redstone arsenal, okay. But this is what we want to do. Probably one, one ingot is going to make one pulverized anyway. So we need an induction smelter. Induction. So this is Invar. Luckily we have some, a bucket. It's basically the same as making the other machine, but Invar there instead of Flint, and we have a bucket instead of something else. I think we need more iron though. I think, yeah. We don't actually have any iron really. So, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to take what we've got in there and in there and try and make some iron like dust and stuff. I'm going to put it in through the smeltery and we're going to try and get some more ingots. So I'll be right back after that. And I'm back and I actually got 66 ingots out of it. Yeah, we even have some more iron in there now. But we got a ton of ingots, which means a ton of more the other metal ingots as well, which is sweet. So we can actually continue making our induction smelter here. So we we'll probably want to make some of the components for this. Starting with this. Let's give us the coil. Now we want to get, you know, one of these as well. What else do we want? Just make it? Yeah, just make it, basically. Alright, do we have our... Yeah, we do have our crescent hammer. Oh yeah, I was also shooting some of these, these enemies with this bow. Because... I, d I can, and I didn't feel like walking over there. Although I had to walk over there to collect the loot and XP anyway. Don't know what I'm on about. Anyway, so we're going to use some of our normal leadstone energy here. Put that there. And we're going to bring this down and like pull it like that. So our induction smelter can go there. Our pulverizer can go there. And they both can get some power. Maybe we want to give them some stored power. Yeah, there you go, a little bit. Bit of charcoal there. Get some power in here. So, pulverizer is getting some power. 
Doctor Spark's guns and power. So we did need a lead ingot, didn't we? Yes, one lead ingot. Let's bring that with us. I, I'm ju like jumping around and stuff. Yeah, who cares about, you know, your hunger anymore when you've got so much bread and toast. Right, so in here. I think that goes in there and that goes in there. And we kind of don't want its output, really. It might do. Yeah, give me that hardened glass. Alright, I think we have to use this as well for the Electrum ingots. I think it's just one silver, one gold for Electrum. Let's have a look. Electrum ingots. Make it from the block. What? Electrum blend, that's what I need to make. Pulverized silver and pulverized gold. So, let's get some gold and let's get some silver. Let's do four of each. Uh, four silver. And we've got some gold with us. So let's just pulverize four of each and then should be good. Right. Let's do gold first. Is that four? That's now four. And then we're going to do silver. If it gets us four of each. You can combine them in our 2x2 grid of craftiness, and there will be Electrum Blend, which is great. In fact, I probably should pulverize some more redstone or something. I don't know. Probably should pulverize some never ores, things like that. Someone wants me to make armor, I know, but I'm not going to yet. I want to see if there's like some special armor I can get. Anyway, let's combine these. Electrum blend, and I believe we need to put them in a redstone furnace, actually. Uh, let's see the use for this. Yeah, we need it in a redstone furnace. So, there's something else we need to make. A furnace. A redstone one. So we need two... So we're going to need to get some clay into some bricks, and then it's the usual Christmas cracker and machine frame. So, let's do it. Let's head on over here. Let's get a machine frame and Christmas cracker first. Why do I call it a Christmas cracker? Because it sort of looks like one. I know it's a coil, but I like to call it a Christmas cracker. And what's up with this server scheduled stuff? I am playing single player. Really odd. Right. So, let's go into... Which should be this chest and get us... Eight clay. Let's put four in here. And four in it. Um, hopefully these planks will do them all. Should do. Should be able to get two out of this lot. If not, that's kind of nub. In fact, we might not get two out of that. Uh, wood, 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 wood. Let's make a couple more planks. Soon we won't be needing these furnaces at all, so... There we go. Yeah, it was only just one and a half smelts, so... It wasn't quite going to do it, but with this redstone and... Basically the only thing we need normal furnaces for will be making charcoal. Pretty much. In fact, I might be able to do it in the redstone furnace, but it's not really you. It's not really good to use... Why am I putting bricks over here? It's not really good to use the charcoal to make more charcoal, at least until forestry and things like that. There we go, we've got our furnace. Connect this up. We could make it like automate, like with the coloured sides we can make like things go from the furnace straight into there or there or something, but whatever. Let's connect that up and we need some more power in here. Let's put, you know, three more, but four more bits in there, why not? And now we can put an electron blend in, and this will start smelting into some electron bars. Which will then give us the redstone conduit we need. That's not it. That is not it. Because the redstone conduit... Yeah, we're going to make like a uh, empty redstone conduit here with this. We make six of them. But then it's only an empty conduit. Yes. We need to do something to fill it up. In the fluid transposer, we need destabilized redstone. We need to put the right the destabilized redstone in the fluid transposer and then get the 
you know, energy conduits out. So, we may need a couple more machines there. We're going to make them all eventually. I know someone wants me to make an igneous extruder. Stop telling me, I know. There we go, fluid transposer. It's pretty much the same stuff again, you know. It's just always like machine frame, Christmas cracker, and then like a bucket or something. Or, you know, some of the materials are mixed around. You know, the same sort of recipes all the time. I'm going to make a couple of buckets because I've run out of them. So, once again, as usual, we are going to make a machine frame. We are going to make a redstone Christmas cracker. And then we're just going to make the machine. Like that. Fluid transposer! Yeah! We're making progress in the world of this machine thing. Alright, let's put one there. You get some power? You're going to get some power. Oh, look at all that steam. Brilliant. Better I'm going to put all the charcoal in. As much RF as I can store in here. So, what other machines do we need? So let's have a look at mod dot thermal. Thermal. So, a bunch of machines there. We've already got some. Oh, there's a bee in my room. I might have to leave. I hate bees. So we've got redstone furnace. We've got two pulverizers. We've got a sawmill. Don't really need that. Duction smelt, we've got one of those. Magma crucible is might be the thing I need. Ignis extruder, that that's for something as well. Ignis extruder. There's one that I think there's a machine that smelts. I think it's the Magma crucible. I'm not sure, but it's a machine that takes the solid. And turns it into the liquid. Where the fluid transposer is what puts the liquid into things. If you make any sense. I think it's the magma crucible. In fact, I'm going to look it up. So, BRB one minute. Or, not for you, it'd be like seconds. BRB. And I'm back. So, I very much believe right now that the magma crucible is the machine I'm looking for. And now to make this, we need, once again, the same kind of stuff. So let's get into the magma thing. It's a machine frame, Christmas cracker, but we need, like, never brick to make this. So, once again, we're just going to make one of these. We're going to make one of these. And where's the magma crucible? We need a leadstone energy frame for the... Yay! On the wiki, it's a bucket at the top. Hey, they changed it. Leadstone energy cell frame. What is this? Never brick. We can smelt some, you know, never rack. Get some never brick. We need eight. Where's our never rack? There we go. Bloody hell, noisy kid outside. Why is it outside crying and stuff? It's kind of annoying. Right, we should have enough to do four lots. Get the bricks. Uh, uh, that's kind of annoying. I'm sorry. So we need glass, lead, and we need glass, lead, and a block of redstone. So a block of redstone is pretty easy. Lead's pretty easily, and we are actually running out of glass. I might have to make some between episodes, you know. So where is it? Magma. One of these. One of that. Yeah. And these are almost done. So we can make a. Magma Crucible, and then we need to start, you know, transposing that into stuff. So there we go. Give me that. Magma Crucible. Done. We need to connect it up, and let's get some food. We need to connect it up, and then probably get some more power and stuff. One more of these. Can you get any power? Got any power left? Give some power to this. Ah, there you go. So, we can start making some, like... Do I put red... Yeah, just put the redstone in. Don't know how much this is going to give me... Gives me a hundred. So we're going to need pretty much maybe all of this for that. So what we're going to do is... 
Look at that. Orange goes here. It's going to go straight into here, hopefully. So the orange, which is this, outputs into here. It looks like the red goes back. The red, no. Red's not doing anything. Sorry. There we go. Straight into here. So we need to actually make them redstone energy conduits now. So to do that, we had our electrum from earlier, and we also had our hardened glass. Wait, we didn't collect our electrum. Let's go and get it. We need that electrum. That electrum is vital to this plan. There we go. No type of ingot for this series. Electrum. Why did they make a gold and silver type of hybrid? It's kind of weird. There we go. Best kind of conduits. Once we fill these, once we trans... Well, we only need to transpose one, really. But once we do that, we can... I should go in there, 300. You're not going in? Please? Okay. It's all in. So maybe we can start transposing one? In here? Oh, look at that. How much is it? Oh, we've got two. Ah, oh, do them all if you can. I prove. Ah, oh, give me all that. Yeah, full transposed. You know, that doesn't even complete the quest because we've got the red net energy. Uh, we have to make plastic sheets and stuff. Plastic sheets. Oh yeah, notice I've got some iron boot. Oh, the invar boots, actually. <laughs> what the hell? I killed a Pikman that came through the thing. They had like... What's that mod? Infernal mobs. They had an infernal mob thing. I, I shot it with a bow about six times. Killed it. Took his boots. Done. Right. So the last thing is the red net energy. So we need red net. So we need to make red net cable. And we need to make like, six of them apparently. So we put redstone here. Oh, we only got two bits of redstone left. Give me another bit of redstone. Right, redstone here. Sheets either side. Get eight of these. Now we need, this is where we need Electrum again. I don't have a redstone block. Give me a redstone block. I thought I had one earlier. I must have used it for something else. We need a redstone block. We then need to get the recipe up. Go like that. Done. Dusted. Boom. Manual submit. Claim our reward. What? What are these for? Heated redstone generator, high temperature furnace generator, or a culinary generator. Uh, sure. Sure, we've done it. Let's just check our bag. Extra utilities, okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it would have been useful if we didn't have so many redstone uh, things to do. But anyway, we're going to stop there for today. We need, made some more machines. We completed the quest. This, what's the next quest, anyway? This one is to make a flux capacitor. This is basic. These things are like just like carrying around energy. You you fill them up with energy, and you carry it around and stuff. It's it's sort of like the redstone energy cells as well. And then you can plug them back into machines and power them from wherever you are. And then we can get four more colony <laughs> generators if we wanted, or some of the one of the other ones. Probably one of the other ones. Anyway, we do that. We'll probably look at that next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.